What's up guys, welcome to my channel click to express and today we'll be discussing on master calendar. So what is master calendar? Master calendar is used to create a continuous date. Okay, for example, let's take a data from here. So suppose I have a data of of, uh, of an employee and their date of join. Okay, so if you can see over here, there, uh, there are person joining on first, second, fourth. I have taken one month for just to make you very clear on the topic okay so on 1st january 2nd january 4th january 3rd then again 10 20 25th and again on 2nd so what is there there is a haphazard date in which uh, the employees has uh, employee had joined so now if you put this in a graph and you have a date of join in x axis so what's going to happen is you will get a discontinuous date one two three four then you will not get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then you will get 10, 10. So what, what, this, uh, what, what, is, what is happening actually is you are getting a discontinuous date. Now if the user wants to, have, uh, want to see those dates where, you, where, uh, where the employee has, hasn't joined, so that date can also be shown using a master calendar. So what master calendar does is it just takes the minimum date and such the maximum date and then it will create a common a, a, a data or a column which will be you know uh, showing you the entire continuous dates okay so how to do that let's see okay so what i'll do is i am going to pull this data in my table so which i have already done it over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a master calendar so you will see there are n number of master calendar available online so you can you know probably look those also this is the easiest way what i feel can be you can create a master calendar okay so let's visit and uh, and see how you can do it so i'm um, first of all uh, there are a few points to be kept in mind one is you have to be uh, you have to understand what is the base date in your master calendar so what can be your base date for example if you take a budget dashboard in that you will have n number of uh, n number of uh, dates for example sales date purchase date budget date etc but what is base date for you that is the date on based on which the application has been created for my budget application my budget date will be my uh, uh, base date so generally what happens a client is going to be telling you what is their budget date or based on which the application needs to be developed or a person who has a good knowledge of data can understand like this is the date which should be my base for the entire application okay for here we have only one date to show so that is why this is my base date for now okay so now let's see how it's going to be done the second important thing which uh, which should be kept in mind is uh, try to keep or link your master calendar with your fact table okay so i don't have any other table so this is my fact table so i'm going to link, uh, link with this itself okay so let's see so what, what i'm going to do is i'm going to create min max min max table so i'm just giving a name you can give anything so what i'm going to do is maximum of my uh, doj as i'm just going to store my maximum date uh, what do you call maximum dates uh, in two different tables okay so sorry uh, two different columns so maximum of doj as my max date maybe like a max date i'm gonna store it over here and why it is showing that that is more, okay mm, okay i forgot to write a load statement over here load max of date and the similar thing i'm gonna write a min of date okay so just copy this and then enter i'm just writing min of date okay min of date and i'm giving this name as min of date okay min of date fine so then i'm just putting a resident load resi resident load so what i'm doing is i'm just creating a small table with maximum date and minimum date from my fact table okay now since if i load this data now you're gonna see the maximum date and minimum date will be stored in a table, small table. So if I go here and you're going to see. The maximum date and minimum date in one single table in one column. 
sorry, yeah. So if you see over here, two columns having maximum data minimum. So forget about like how it is coming. We're gonna be changing that. Okay. So now you have this. So now since it is present in a, a table, we have to loop this data from maximum to minimum. So we have to put it in a variable. So how do I put it in variable? Let suppose v max. Okay, is equals to. I'm just gonna give p k p of my column name. My column name is. So I'll just make it unique. Make it max. So sorry, min. Uh, my column name then giving a comma starting from the zeroth column. Zeroth column is the first column. We only have one column here, but just to mention what is the column needs to be used. That is my column. So that is first column. Take that, put a semicolon. So, what it's gonna do? Take the zeroth column data from max max date from this max date column from min max table and store it in v max. So I'm gonna do the same thing for min also. So what I'm gonna do is m i n min, then make it min. Okay, and that's all. Uh, and sometimes this is not a number so it's good practice to make it as a number so ideally it's not going to affect over here because we are getting a perfect date over here so not necessary but it's a good practice to make it number okay so that's all so now you will have minimum and maximum date okay so if i go over here what is happening let's take a now i'm, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen over here so what happened is we made a table out of which the maximum date and minimum date is being stored in two different variables. Okay, now I'm going to create a table, okay, which will take the continuous date. How to do that? Go here. I'm just writing a temp calendar. Okay, now what you can do is make it date of. Okay, so here I'm going to convert that uh, V8 kind of date what you're seeing over here to a perfect date dollar of dollar is used to evaluate the value in a variable date plus the row number so what is row number row number actually uh, gives you the uh, serial number you know this and if you don't know the uh, uh, the exact uh, details of row number peak and let let you can obviously visit to my uh, other uh, the previous uh, sessions so it will be clear for you so the next one is I'll just put plus one over here. Sorry, minus one over here. So what I'm basically doing over here, and just let's put this as x. Okay. So what I'm gonna do over here, I'll just simply write load. Okay. So what I did here, row. Okay, fine. I think we're good. But why it is showing a error? Row number. Sorry. Yeah. So. What, what I did is start the load from v min, not v max, v min. Okay, start from v min means load, take this column, load add row number means add 1 to it and then subtract 1 to it. Okay, so what it's gonna give? It will give you the same result, correct? The next column, what row number does, take the same date. Now row number will be 2, right? Row number gives you serial number. So it, so the next column will be 2, then subtract minus 1. So what it's going to give? It's going to give you add 1 to this number. So it, it will be the second date. That is 1, 2, 2018. Correct? 2018. Correct? That's the thing. Correct? So similarly, how many times I have to do? I have to do it. I have to check out the maximum value that is 25 of this month. Okay, so that is why I took only one month, 25. Then subtract one. Okay, and then add one. So totally 25. So I have to do is till 25 from the first till 25. So this is gonna happen till 25 column. So we'll get 25 dates or 25 from 1 to 25 okay so if you take change the year also or something 
so it's gonna uh, uh, or change a month so it's gonna take from the maximum date to the minimum date and create a continuous column okay that is what the logic goes as okay so take minimum value add row number make it x till how long we have to do we have to do AUT auto generate okay so I have to start from where I have to barely this bracket is not required so if I write dollar B okay it is coming in square bracket I have to remove this so V max for me V max just do a V max from maximum subtract minimum and then add one to it okay so it's gonna give you do this loop or do do this thing till how many times uh, from the maximum to the minimum uh, and plus one so if I load this data you're gonna see there is a date formation or a small temporary calendar is coming over here with all the continuous day till 25 so what you did if you understand this logic very carefully what I did over here is actually what I have done in, in the code over here take the first column add one add the serial number of that column and subtract one uh, one to this second column add the serial number will become two and then subtract one here it will become three and then subtract so basically what it is doing it is adding one one uh, one two three four to the first date till how many times till the maximum date time so that is 25th time okay here in this data so now what i'm going to do is so this is my temporary calendar is created or my continuous date has been created so that that's all i have to do that is what your maximum thing is done now before that after this is created i don't need the above table right so drop table table name so for me it is this so i, I don't need this table at all correct so i'll just put this put a comma sorry semicolon and it's gonna be doing it okay now what i'm gonna do is i'll create my master calendar so that is that's all i'll just create a calendar so i have i'll just keep x as my doj that's because i'm gonna link this doj with the main table so i just kept kept it as it is okay load this x as so x should be my capital thing x okay x is as doj comma then if i want to write as i just want to have a year column of doj i am using year function if i want to have only month then i uh, i'll just make this as doj year okay then if i want suppose i want month of DOJ D, not DOJ I'm very sorry it should be X because X is the column we're going to be using over here so X as my what you call mm, MO and DH one DOJ month DOJ I'm just giving a, a random name okay that's all now resident so I just added, <coughs> sorry, so I just added year and month and also the DOJ, the, uh, DOJ to just to have a association with the fact table, okay. So that uh, you can have quarters also, you can add anything, uh, what is your date requirement, okay. So after this I don't need this table anymore, so what I'm going to do is drop table my table name okay so now the table is now your calendar is created okay so now if you load this data what you're gonna see is you're gonna see over here you have a master calendar okay and you have all those dates with you available good enough now if you want to show in a uh, in like in your front end you want to create something maybe like uh, number of people joined on particular dates so I'll just create a bar chart for it. I'll go here, take a bar chart, go to dimension, I'll add DOJ, okay, and like uh, count of employee, maybe like count of employee. So you can see 
how many employed joined on which and all date okay so you can see over here uh, on first sec uh, like uh, how many employed joined on first or second so there are three employed joined on second uh, second of the month or something like that or uh, you can obviously change uh, do if you don't want a do if you want to take it as month so i i think i have only one month so i'll just take it just to show you so we have only on in january we have so many people nine people do it so this is how you create your master calendar so what is very important is to understand this okay so that's all in today's video thank you have a nice day